Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to export the avatar from Icon to Unreal Engine 5 together with the facial expression and the talking animation of the mouse. Export as FBX file and import into Unreal Engine 5. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. First, you are going to use the character creator tree, what they call the CC tree. Alright, so now I have the character creator tree. Here I already designed an avatar. After I design an avatar, I, I want to send it to iClone. I click here. Send the avatar to iClone. And your iClone must be ready and after a few seconds it will automatically load into your iClone 7. Here you just need to wait for a while. And in Icon 7, we are going to create the bone and at the same time create some facial expressions on the avatar's face and also the talking animations just by applying some voice and sound. And it will, it will have the VSAM and we are going to export it out together with the FBX file. Alright, now you can see this avatar is ready in your Icon 7. Now in Icon 7, what am I going to do is first I apply some motions. I click here, I use the motions, the icon 7 motion. As demo, I will use the female motion of, of the dual idol. So I apply this motion, I drag in. Now you can see once I click play, this avatar already have, have some motions, some animation. Alright. Now it, it have the motion already, just have a look. It have certain motions. Alright, the next step, most probably I want to apply some facial expressions. I may just click here and I use the face key. First I use, uh, use a happy expression at the beginning and then at a, at a certain, certain time range here, I make it become angry. Here. So now you can see a certain keyframe is already at there. And then at here, after a few seconds, I want this to be at the default. So now I back to the origins, start from the frame one I play, from happy to be angry and then to be calm. Now you have the facial expression now. You have the facial expression at the same time you have the body motion. And next, I'm going to create the talking animation. In the talking animations, I'm going to create a script. As demo, I will just use TTS. Of course, you can record your own voice or you use the audio file that is an MP3 file that pre-recorded by, by your friends or yourself. But as demo, I will use the TTS. Here, I will just choose Zira and I type it here, hello. Micro okay, hello. Voice testing. One, two, three. Testing. Complete. Alright, now I just click here, click OK, and I can apply. And now we, we look at the mouth. We need a few seconds before it's ready. Now, she's here. Hello. Voice testing. One, two, three. Testing complete. All right. Now the, the endpoint is here. I'm going to export export the whole avatar as FBX file at the same time. Also express all the facial animation together. I'm going to drag the range. Make sure you drag the range. So that you only export this range. And now the first step, what you are going to do is Click here, click custom, save it as a motion plus. Save it as, as a motion plus, I click plus. Now remember, the file name is motion plus zero. This is the file name. The motion plus 
is something that you can apply in any avatar in iClone. So this is the first step, export it out, save it as a motion plus and next step, click here, make sure you already selected your avatar and click edit in 3D exchange. Make sure you have the 3D exchange software and now it is importing the 3D exchange 7. Just need to wait for a while before it's ready. It is importing, importing the character creator 3 avatar into 3D exchange and here you are going to export it out as FBX file. Now you can see this avatar is here and the next step, what we are going to do we need to wait until it finish and now here you need to drag drag the sides until you see the animation then you back to your icon right click the motion plus zero and click find file once you click find file it will automatic open by using your window explorer back to your 3d exchange at here you open that folder. The motion plus zero is, is, the, is the motion that you want to export it out. It included the body motion at the same time also include the facial expression and the mouth and the mouth VSAM, the talking animation. So drag the motion plus zero into animation motion library. Release your mouse cursor. Next step, click add all to perform. Now you can just just check again. You can see this avatar have the motion. This is the perform editor. You can just play it. Hello. Voice testing. One, two, three. Testing complete. Okay, everything is perfect. We are going to export this out. The voice won't be exported. Now you want to import it into your Unreal Engine game project. You are going to export it out, the body animation at the same time, the facial expression and also the mouth talking animation. You export it together. As demo, I will just export it on my desktop. My desktop is here. Click export as FBX file in your 3D exchange. I will name it as CC301. This is a file name. Make sure the target tool preset you choose the game engine Unreal. And here it already tick embedded texture. You no need to set anything automatic, already set it. And now you click OK. Before that, you browse it, browse the desktop. As demo, I will export it on my desktop. I click OK and click OK to export it. Click OK here. Now, now we are waiting for the 3D Exchange 7 to export this avatar as FBX file. Includes the facial animations, the mouth talking animations, and also the body animation together. It automatically embedded inside the FBX file. Now, where is it? Right click and refresh my desktop. Now, where is the file now? If, okay, now, successfully exported. Now, the FBX file is here. As demo, I will open a new project in my Unreal Engine. Create a new game. Select Next. And then I will choose the third person. Create a third person game. I press Next. The file name as demo, I will just put iClone. Okay, CC3 iClone 7, Unreal Engine. All right, sorry, this is Unreal Engine 4. I'm going to test by using Unreal Engine 5. So I'm going to cancel this. The Unreal Engine 5. The Unreal Engine 5 is, is the latest game engine in Epic. So I start all over again. I start the Unreal Engine 5 and wait for a while before it starts. I'm starting the Unreal Engine 5.
All right, as demo, I will create a new game project. This is Unreal Engine 5. I create a third person game. At the file name, I will name it as CC3 Icron 7 Unreal Engine 5. Okay, demo 0 once. I click create. And wait for a while, Unreal Engine 5 is creating a new game project here. Alright, now you can see this is the Unreal Engine 5 new project. I'm going to close the plugins. And now, in my Unreal Engine 5, I'm going to import, import this FBX file. I click Content. I click Content, I, I create a new folder. CC3 Avatar. Okay. Alright. I double click into this folder and now I'm going to import import this the FBX file drag in and wait for a while before it prompt to import it you need to wait for a while once you drag in it is reading the file before it imports. Now, importing CC301 motion plus 0. Wait for a while. Okay, here, skeleton mesh, import mesh. And also import animations, here you choose animated time. Alright, then click import all. And wait for a while, it is importing. Okay, after imported, close this message and wait for a while you can see this is your skeleton mesh and you have you have the motion plus this is animation sequence. You can just try to test with the animation sequence, just drag it out and just have a look. Now it is compiling the shader, you need to wait for a while. After it finished, compile all the shaders and you can see all the texture. But before that, we just want to see whether the mouth is moving or not moving and how about the facial expression. So now I can just try to play test and go into the game and have a look. This is here. Okay, now I want I want this character. I click here and I press I press E so that I rotate it to face with the light so you can see it clearer. The shader that's why you cannot see any texture yet. You have to wait until it finish. I play again and now I try to have a look.
Now you can see the mouth is talking. And what about the facial expression? Okay, for a while, wait until the is finished exporting. It's finished compiling. Now you can see. This avatar is talking. Her mouth is talking. And what about the facial expressions? We are going to have a look. We can just observe it we finish compiling all the shaders. Wait first. Just need to wait for this. We try again, play, and just need to look at look at the avatar's facial expression and the mouth vision. Or you can direct double click in to look at the motion. Now you can see all the tongue animations are and what else? The brow raise. All the facial expressions are in already. And what else? The eye blink. Yes, the eye will blink. Right, so you can see everything, everything are, are exported completely. It includes all the facial expression, all the facial muscles already in the CC3 character creator 3 mode. Everything are completely. Alright, that's all for today about how to export it, export out all, all the facial expression and motion together with the character creator 3 avatar through the clone how to create all the animation and facial animations and talking animation in iClone and export as FBX and import into Unreal Engine 5 
together with animation. Okay, all of these are Vata project and it will be very useful in your game project. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animations, game developing and 3D modeling, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.